Hey guys, SuperDustHead here with an extremely exclusive video. In fact, the very first one on YouTube on where's the testing hall on Oblivion for the Xbox 360. Now, so many people have been asking where's the testing hall, and so many people have been pretending like there is, and they've been doing a whole hoax over it. Because I'm here to tell you there is no testing hall on Oblivion, to be precise. But, there is actually a testing world. Yeah, there is somewhat of a testing hall. Now, here's what you need to do. It'll cost you 100, uh, I think it's 180 Microsoft points, but I'm not sure. But just be ready with at least 800 Microsoft points. It's not going to cost that much, but just in case. Now, uh, I'm going to need you guys to buy Frost Cag Spire. Then, when you're inside of Frost Cag Spire, you need to go ahead and go... Up a level to where there's the botanical area, I guess you can call it. And inside the botanical area, uh, you'll see one where it's oblivion plants. Like, the ones that are rare to only the land of oblivion. Now, to, uh, what you need to do to get to the testing world, go stand inside that room on the little separated area where it's the plants from oblivion. Look at the doorway, press pause, and then save. Then what you need to do, go over to memory, and then you need to delete Frost Crack Spire. Sorry guys, I know you might like Frost Crack Spire, but you're going to lose everything that's inside of it, and everything. You can buy it again if you want, if you have the 800 Microsoft points. But you're going to have to lose it if you want to do this. Now, but before you do that, you're going to want to remember that here's what you're going to get. You're going to get the Mace of Doom, which is a very, very powerful mace that will kill your enemy in almost one strike, uh, depending on what level you are. And then you can get Infinity Sigil Stones, but you got to be careful, though, because it'll over-encumber you. You can get as many Sigil Stones as you want, just as long as you go inside of a room. All right, now, check this out. Alright, so I'm loading when I'm inside of Frostcrag Spire looking at the doorway, and then it says that you can't, you're gonna have trouble loading it because certain things aren't gonna be inside the game. Now, I'm going to want to go over, alright, there we go. Now I'm inside the room, and then you'll see a door that says open wooden door to wilderness. You open up the door, then it'll take a little bit to load. You just gotta have a little bit of patience. Alright, now, here is the wilderness. It's a testing room, testing kind of a small little neighborhood sort of thing. You go right here, and you'll see the Mace of Doom. See? Right here. And then, the Mace of Doom does... Uh, it's worth $20,000. It can do fire damage 17 points and 10 feet for 5 seconds on strike. Very powerful weapon. Then each... Hold on. Alright. Each one of these rooms usually has something. Except for a few it'll say open door but it won't let you. You're going to want to go to the one where it does not have the red hand and it says Tester House Bruma Mid. You open it up. Make sure you have like a light uh, spell that'll um, make a light around you. See, it looks like you're inside of a Deidre area. Now, you're going to want to cast that light spell. Where is mine? There we go. Oopsies, wrong one. Sorry, guys. That's not it. Where is it? Alright, well anyway, let me just pick one. Alright. Here we go, guys. You'll see a little path. You're going to want a light spell and it'll show you where to go. But right now, all I have is this that I can find. So, there's no enemies. So, those of you young players at this game, don't be afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of. No enemies in this dark area. You're going to go right here where you see a sigil stone. You grab it. 
Alright, well, I didn't. I wasn't very successful. But, what you do is you grab it, and then as soon as it, as soon as it gives you it the first time, it'll constantly keep giving it to you. Then, once you have it, and you have a whole bunch of them, as soon as you go through this door, back into the wilderness, then you'll have a bunch of sigil stones, and then it'll stop giving it to you. If you, for some reason, you want more, you can just go back in, and it'll keep giving them to you, and then you can come back out, and then you'll have the same number. And, uh, if you want to figure out how to get out of this place, oh yeah, you can travel really far, as far as you want, and you'll find all these weird things. Like, I found one guy named Dewey Decimal, which is kind of funny. Uh, it was just some random Blades, Blades member off that way somewhere. Oh yeah, there's Cloud's Ruler Temple. Cloud Ruler Temple. Um, and that's about it. Oh yeah, and if you want to get out of this place, it'll get kind of boring after a while. All you have to do, go to uh, your map, quick travel to any location, and then voila, you're out of the you're out of the testing room. But make sure you save. Make sure you keep that save, or else you'll lose it and you'll never be able to get there again. So that's about it. Thanks guys, this was a Super Death Head extremely exclusive video, only for the Xbox 360, and I think it works for the PlayStation. Alright guys, thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe and view my channel. Thanks!